So, in order for you to show me your thinking, you're going to explain with words, but some of you might agree with some of that thinking. If you do that, you're going to show me with the Me Too signal. So let's just review really quickly. A quiet Me Too is going to show a friend that you know or that you have that share that same strategy. If When you're solving the problem, you're doing it in your head for your mental math and using a strategy. You're going to show me first with that you have solved it with a strategy. Everybody show me. You're going to show me that you've solved it once. Once you've solved it once and you're waiting for friends, you're going to solve it a different way and challenge yourself to use a different strategy. You're going to show me with a second signal. And then if you're still waiting, choose a third signal. Challenge yourself to solve it in a different way. So you're going to show me with your fingers. Ready? Okay, so I'm going to show you the problem. Eyes and ears on the board. I see a lot of Me Too's. Did anybody get anything different? You got something different, Emmett? What'd you got? What? I didn't get anything. You didn't get anything different. Jordan? Can I defend it? Yes, you can defend it. Okay, so, sharing your strategy. How did you know that this was 56? So, I'll have 56 cents or something. I used another one. Okay, so where did you begin with your number one? At 50. What'd you do? I have six ones. Okay. And when you have six ones, how did that sound in your head when you come? Um, it kind of sounded like um, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 52. Okay. Okay, great. If you're showing her me too, that means that's a strategy you used. Did anybody solve it differently? So I'm looking for a different friend to share. Did anybody sh solve it? One other strategy. Mm -hmm. Ella. Um, I just said the six and the zero would just be the six. So then I said that the six would be uh, just the six. So then that would mean 50 plus six equals 56. Okay, so you really kind of focused on the ones digit. And you knew that there were zero ones plus six ones. That gets you real quick to six ones. And you re put that five times back in. Right? Okay, we've got another one. Okay, what did you get for an answer? Caitlin. 54. Yeah, 54. Okay, lots of me too, so I don't see any differences. Who would like to defend it? Oh, me too. Okay, so our sum's 54. I'm looking for um, a friend to defend it. I added two days, and I thought we need 10. Ah. Oh, I see what you did. So you looked at your 8 and the 48. Okay. So you did 8 and 2. That got you 10. Uh-huh. And then I did 48 and 2. Okay. So that's 54. Good job. I see a lot of me twos there. Anybody solve it differently? Can you um, share your strategy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you just hop four like that? Okay. And when you hopped four from 50, what'd you get? 54. Great. Okay, a couple more me twos. Great job. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Okay, what'd you get for a sum this time? James. 54. Got 54. Okay, I'm seeing several me twos. Anybody got something? Did you get something different or you want to defend? You want to defend it? Okay, so go ahead and defend the answer of 54 here. So first I broke point six into two and four. Okay. Then I 
and so I added my two to my forty-eight, and I got my fifty. <laughs> okay. And and then I added my four to my fifty, and got and I got my fifty-four. So just to be clear, why did you add two and four? <gasps> why did you add two and four? Explain why you did that. Well, because last strategy was two and four, and so two plus four is really just six. So mm -hmm. if I just mm -hmm. the part and mm -hmm. kind of use what other people use for the last strategy, then it would be sort of the same. Okay, great. So you were thinking of this number. You knew that two and four really is just six. And you could add two to 48 to get to that friendly number of 50. And then add four more. That's great. Great strategy. And I did see a lot of me twos as you were doing that, so I, I can see that some of my other friends did that too. Anybody use a different strategy to solve that? So what strategy may you have used to solve it in a different way? Amelia. Number line. You just don't have a line. Number line's a hot one today. All right, Amelia. Okay. You just hop six. Did you hop six right away? Did you knew that? Or did you know that forty-eight plus six got you to fifty-four, or did you count differently? Um, I just counted two, and then I got fifty-four. Okay, so in your brain you could just hop six, okay. and you know. Okay. All right. Let's see about the next one. Okay, what would you guys get for socks? What did you get for socks? Um, 62. 62. Okay, have some discrepancy here. Ben? I got six, um, 61. 61. Okay, oh, quiet me too. Okay, so who's going to defend 62 or 61? Dominic, which one are you defending? 61. 61, okay. What would you do to solve it? Um, I broke apart 48 into 48. Okay. And then, I, and 13 into 10 and 3. Okay. And then I did 40 plus 10. Okay. Equals 50. And then 8 plus 3 equals um, 11. Okay, and how did you know when you counted 50 plus 11 that it was just 60? 50 plus 10 is 60. Okay, so it kind of looked like that in your brain when you did that. Okay, great. Anybody saw, uh, yep, see a lot of me twos there. Great job for showing your friend that um, you used the same strategy. Did anybody use a different strategy to solve that? How did you solve that one? New friend, Emmett. Um, what's the line? Okay. Where did you Where did your number line begin, Emmett? Um, forty-eight. Okay. And where did you go from there? Um, I well, I did I went up. Okay, so you counted up 10 from 48? Yep. So 48 and 10? Um, 58. Okay. Um, one more. Uh, 59. Okay. One more. You have to your three. One, two, three at the end. Awesome. Okay, a couple me twos. And that is it for today. So Thank you so much, Katie, for that amazing modeling of a number talk at second grade. Everyone, please note that her wait time was much greater during the video. I have edited out some of that to reduce your viewing time. Thanks again, Katie.